Guess what, Jeb? We are back. <laughs> oh my god, we can't be. Here we go. We are gonna we have another little pod, Jeb. It's called the Hook, Line, and Sinker. It's a little bit of a preview uh, before the Thursday and Friday night games because we don't really get to touch on it as uh, all the other games we do on the weekend for the 100K. So, Jeb, it's gonna be short and sharp. We're pretty much gonna get straight into it. Thursday night footy. All right. So we have the Dogs and the Lions. Give us your hook. Give us a few markets that you're looking at for tonight. So I got four that I actually reckon are absolute certainties, Dars. So I got Bailey Smith for 25. He's hit at both legs this year. He's even better when he plays at Marvel Stadium. He's paying a dollar fifty for 25. Saying that's two and zero this year. Dollar fifty is delicious. Then I got Lockie Neal for 25. You can get him with a dollar forty two for 25. When he when he was at his Brownlow best, that's a dollar twenty dollar eighteen leg for Lockie Neal 25. The dogs mids don't don't defend. We know that they're the best team to bet against like midfielders bet against. So I think this is an absolute lock. He had 33 against them last year. This is my favorite leg, Ed Richards for 20 at $1.54. Das, Ed Richards' last seven home and away games last year, he had 20 or more in every single game. He yep. opened the season with 27 round one, and then he had 19 last week against the Saints. So he's one touch off being nine in a row. This this pays $1.54. And then the kid, Will Ashcroft for 20. I get a whopping $1.54 for Will Ashcroft who had 31 and a goal last week. We know I love to bet on mids against the dogs because I don't defend. So Will Ashcroft's 20. So this, Bailey Smith, 25. Lockie Neal, 25. Ed Richards, 20. Will Ashcroft, 20. Pays $4.33. And sports better giving money back, back if any league fails again. I think it's the perfect bet for tonight. I love that. I might actually have to incorporate that into the Dove Thursdays. Now, Jeb, we did listen to, we do like listening to the Dylan Friends podcast, and we did hear Cody Waitman at the start of the year. He said, watch out for Eddie Richards. He's going to have a big season. So, Jeb, my little hook, I've only got a one-liner here, but Dunkley for two bucks for a snag against the old side. He kicked 18 goals last year, so just under a goal a game against the old side. I'm predicting a big game from him. I agree. Jeb, two bucks for a snag. Oh, he's probably been Brisbane's best, most consistent player so far. He's probably had two good games for him. I agree. I think he's 100% kicking a snag. So two bucks, fill up your multis with that. Now, Jeb, the line, what do you think it is? I haven't looked, and I've actually got no idea. I'm going to say Brisbane minus 10.5, Bulldogs plus 10.5. 11 and a half, Jeb. So you pretty much bang on the money. It did open a little bit more, so it was starting off at plus 14. Yeah. For the doggy, so it has come in a little bit. Um, my numbers are saying, so I've got a fuck ton of numbers for anyone. So listen, I've taken all the lines, but so far it's only been two games. So you can't really take these into, um, consideration at the moment, but it says Brisbane are a plus 44 point better side than the dogs, but we'll give that a bit more, uh, a few more weeks to see where that is. But who would you rather take at a dollar 50, Jeb, the Bulldogs plus 21 or the Lions minus half a point? Uh, I think they're both winners. I think the Lions do win, but I'll give you one stat, Darcy, that I know off the top of my head. Only two teams have gone interstate this year and won. The Swans round one against Gold Coast, and then North went and beat Freo by a point last year. They're the only two teams that have won interstate this year. So I actually really like the Dogs at home at Marvel tonight. I think, I think I'd probably lean. I like the Dogs plus 21. I probably like the Dogs at 11 and a half as well. I think that this is like their season. If they're zipping three, the season's over. So I'm going to lean the dog side. I'm going to take the points at home. I think the Lions will be too good. I'll be taking the Lions that, minus half a point. But, but yeah, that minus half and that plus 21 and a half, I think that they both win. That, that, yep. At a dollar 50, yeah, I like that. Love giving points to a home dog. Like, absolutely love it. Now, Jeb, Richmond and the Pies, give us your hook. Give us a few markets that you're looking at. All right, we both love Josh Dacos for 20 touches, don't we? Yeah. At a dollar thirty six, we're still getting a dollar thirty six. Last week he hit that we had in the hundred K against Port. He's hit five home his last five home and away games. We're a week away from this being a dollar twenty five. I absolutely love this leg. And then our boy Johnny Noble, dollar twenty two for fifteen touches. We love Johnny Noble. I think this is money for Jam. He started the season with twenty nine round one and nineteen round two. So a dollar twenty two for fifteen. But if you're looking for value, you can get two dollars twenty five for twenty. That is unbelievable. I know. Scott Pendlebury, 20. It's also a dollar twenty six. This hasn't missed in his last eight AFL games. Yep. He's hit eight in a row. Take your dollar twenty six for him to get twenty. He's and especially now, he's not even Collingwood's gun anymore. So teams don't even look at him. Like he's not their main midfielder anymore. Twenty's a lock. And then Bo McCreary, anytime snag. 
Absolutely love this. His leg speed, his forward pressure, and the amount of times Colin would go forward just equaled Bo McCreary for a goal at $1.54. He's kicked two in the prelim, two round one, two last week against Port. He pays three eighty for two, but you can get a dollar fifty four for one. So I absolutely love all those legs. Yep, um, I've got a bit of juice coming at you, Jeb. My hooks, Shy Bolton, he's due for two, isn't he? Has to be. Shy Bolton, oi, two twenty, two twenty. <laughs> and also, I'm really going to be looking at a little bit more throughout um, the later rounds, Jeb. Big forwards, the game is looking to be moving very fast. A lot of goal kickers, big guys up forward, could be kicking sixty plus. Yeah, so that means they need a few games of four. Four to five, so I'll be looking at Jeb, Tom Lynch, four goals at 475. I'll be taking that one out. I'll give you, if Stoke Thursdays loses tonight and you get a bonus bet instead of real cash, I'd be going Bo McCreary, two at $3.80, John Noble, 20 at 225 and then Steel Sidebottom, 20 at $1.95. That three-leg multi that would have won last week pays $11.50, basically 12 to 1. If you've got a bonus bet, that is so worth putting your bonus bet on that. 100%. Hey, bonus bets back all this week, Jeb. Gamble responsibly, but absolutely 100%. get your bonus bets back in. So, Jeb, the line, what are you thinking? It actually has moved a little bit, but what are you taking? What are you thinking? I reckon – I so I've been thinking about this all morning, so – no Dusty, no Hopper, no Broad, no Jaden Short. I reckon this has to be at about 32 and a half points. I'm going to say it opened up at about 26 and a half. So it opened up at minus nine and a half? Wow. And it is at minus 16 and a half. 16 and a half. I will gobble up the old Collingwood every day of the week. No matter, it, Richmond can play well and still lose this game by 35 points. Yeah, I, I got in real early, Jeb. I got in on the pies minus nine and a half oh, early on in the week. So. You, should have, you should have. So what can I get Collingwood at a dollar fifty at? Well, I'm about to get to that. So, Jeb, the numbers are saying at the moment, as I said, it is a bit skewed, but it says Collingwood. They're on top of my ladder at the moment, plus 62 and a half points better than the Tigers at the moment. So $1.50, Jeb, you're either taking the Pies minus five and a half or Richmond plus 27 and a half. That's the biggest lock of the weekend, Collingwood minus five and a half. Lock that in. Without those, like if Richmond were full strength, I wouldn't, I would be a bit more hesitant. That's a lock. Three guys out. That's a lock. Minus five and a half is a lock. MCG, they play it far too well. Now, Jeff, we will be going into depth uh, over the other games as we roll through, but Hawthorne and North Melbourne, this should be an absolute cracker. What do you think the line is sitting at? This is the this is the only one you told me on the Sunday roast. I believe you said about seven and a half. It's moved. What can I get? All right, so it's moved. That means money's coming for North Melbourne, so I'll go North Melbourne minus ten and a half. Eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. And I would lean. I don't even know. This one's hard. I reckon. I like no. I like defense at the moment. I like Hawthorne go all out attack and North Melbourne actually defend. I'm going to take. What can I get North a dollar fifty for? You tell me what your numbers say. Uh well, it's the numbers are saying that North are a hundred and one point better side than what Hawthorne are <laughs> over the first two rounds. So I'll just be taking North at the line minus eleven and a half. They get it done down in Lonnie. Hey, even though it's Sam Mitchell's going back home, but have a guess who else is going back home? Clarko. <laughs> He's going yeah. back home as well. There's, they're talking this game up. There's a bit of bad blood in this game, I reckon. Uh, both are going to want to win this bad. So, what, yeah, what are the dollar fifty legs? Well, the dollar fifty. I didn't do it for all these ones. I only did it for the first two, so fuck oh, it. That's right. Just take that's the line. Right. We'll work that out. All right. Next one, Jeb. So, are you taking North? Uh, yeah, I, I would like North maybe four and a half, five and a half points, okay. which I reckon that's about the dollar fifty. All right, GWS Carlton, what do you think the line's sitting at? Uh, Carlton, 13 and a half. 10 and a half, Jeb. Who do we like? Uh, GW, nah, Carlton. Carlton will win that by three yeah. goals. It says the Blues are a 21 point better side. Then yeah, that's, that, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Now, this next one, so I'll be taking the Blues now. I reckon this one is spot on. So Saints and the Bombers, Jeb, they've played similar sort of opponents. Yep. So these numbers probably stack up. So what do you reckon the line is? Who's favorite? I'm going to say the Bombers by three and a half points. Saints are by minus four and a half points. Right. And so it's I'll saying, be- my numbers are saying the Bombers are four points better. I think I think they are too. So I'll be like, the Saints are a bit injured. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the Bombers in that. If I can get four and a half points, 
if I can get 10 and a half points for the Bombers at $1.50, I'd be taking the Bombers for sure. Yeah, so I'll go Bombers plus four and a half, Jev. Um, that is, I think they're playing a bit more consistent. I think Saints have gone all out the last couple of weeks, so I'm not sure if they're going to be able to hold on to that. So both agreeing so far. Next one, Jev, the showdown, Port and Adelaide. Uh, I'm going to go Port by eight and a half points. 15 and a half. Oh, see, I, we watched Port last week. Jeez, they looked average. They ha- so one side, they have to bounce back. But two, Adelaide is zero and two. They have to win. The Crows' third quarter was good. Yeah, sure I'd, good. I'd take the points. It's a showdown. It's always close. I'd take Adelaide plus 15 and a half. And the numbers are saying Adelaide are a 16-point better side than Port at the moment. So you can lay 32 on them if you really want to. <laughs> yes, please. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Gold Coast and the Cats, Jev. Uh, Geelong minus 20 and a half is my guess. Yeah, 16 and a half. Yeah. Everyone start, people are tipping Gold Coast to win this head to head. Like they reckon Jeremy Cameron's ribs are cracked and Hawkins has been moving like the Titanic. And they play well up there. I'd take the Suns plus 16 and a half. That's what I'm taking as well. The numbers say they're plus 30 better so far this year. Now, Jeb, this one is the one. You'll be there. Melbourne and the Swans. I think you know what this line is. Yeah, no, you did tell me this. It was about six and a half. Melbourne minus six and a half, I think. So it's in a four and a half. Yeah, I think the Swans are better than Melbourne. I just think we're better than them. I think if both teams best 22, I think Melbourne have one, two, and three. And then I reckon Swans nearly have the next 10 players. I think our 22 is better than their 22. We've beaten them the last two times on the MCG. Max Gorn had the best game I've ever seen last time. We still beat him. He's not playing. I reckon we'll beat him head to head. So I'll take the Swans plus four and a half. So do I. And just because you guys are versus uh, Gold Coast and Hawthorne, you are technically an 111 point side. <laughs> better yeah. than Melbourne. So that one has to fix itself. That, so one that, that, that one will come back in, but I'll be taking the Swans as well, Jeb. Now, this one, Fremantle and West Coast. I actually can't believe this line. I can't. Uh, if you're going to say that, I'm going to say like Freo minus like three and a half. Minus 13 and a half. Nah, give me West Coast any day. West Coast with absolute points, Jeb. So the plus 13 and a half, I'll be taking West Coast over there as well. So then we agree on all of them and you can tease all those into a dollar thirty legs, Jeb, and you get some serious good value. So you get $12, Jeb. So for 12 bucks, yep. you can get Brisbane plus four and a half, Collingwood plus eight and a half, North plus six and a half, Carlton plus seven and a half, Essendon plus 23 and a half, Adelaide plus 34 and a half, Gold Coast plus 35, Sydney plus 24, and West Coast plus 32. That's, That's taking all of our legs into a dollar 30s. That gets you 12 bucks. Bring them legs onto Here Comes the Money because you need a winner. Bring that multi onto Here Comes the Money. Hey, I know we're not meant to put the bets on. I've already put it on Here Comes the Money. <laughs> Just I got in early. That is a lock. Yeah, put that bet slip up on the end of this pod or on the story after this. That is an absolute lock. And um, by the way, if you guys take the line bets as well that we like, if you get, I know some people get nine in footy tipping. If you get nine, nine line bets at $1.90, and you put 10 bucks on that, you get 3.2K back. Come on. <laughs> so I've got the numbers. We're just hoping one round this year, Jev, that these yeah. numbers stack up and we get it going. So go. come on. Let's go. Dope Thursdays tonight. I'll be posting the multi later. We've got Jevy Friday tomorrow. The pod's coming back. There are a few lines, a few markets that we like. And uh, let's have ourselves a fucking week. Up. Uh, let's go. See you later. Sinker. Let's go.